When your eyes are open, guess what happens? Revelation removes the impossible. Hear it again. Revelation removes the impossible. Do you know the difference between water that's on the earth, that's comprised of the oceans, the lakes, the rivers? Space is a different realm because it's continually expanding. It's the closest way we understand what infinity is. There's a realm that God wants you to come into. It's beyond where you are. Welcome to the infinity realm. Are you following me on social media? You know, you really should. That's where I share the revelation the Lord's given me. I do a Facebook, I go on Instagram, I go on YouTube. And sometimes what the word the Lord gives me is tailor-made to those who come on who watch me when I do lives, because I do lives on Facebook, on Instagram, and YouTube. And I believe that that's where you get a word from God. So I want you to follow me on all my social media platforms. Get connected with me right now. You know, I'm excited in this new show to be able to bring you into the infinity realm. God is going to broaden your horizons. You're going to see beyond what you're seeing now because what you're seeing right now is this world's reality. And this world's reality can be manipulated by the forces of darkness. But in the midst of it, God, wants you to come into infinity. And so we're going to start out by praying this prayer. And I want you to go with me in your Bibles to the book of Ephesians. It's Ephesians chapter 1. And we're going to start from verse 17. It reads like this. I always pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation that gives you a deep and personal and intimate insight into the true knowledge of Him. For we know the Father through the Son. And I pray that the eyes of your heart, the very center and core of your being, may be enlightened, flooded with light, by the Holy Spirit, so that you will know and cherish the hope, the divine guarantee, the confident expectation to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. Then the 19th verse goes on to say, and so that you will begin to know what is the immeasurable. See how you've seen it already? When your eyes are open, it's open to the immeasurable. Limitations are removed. The immeasurable and unlimited, infinity again, all infinity words, and surpassing greatness of his active spiritual power. It's in us who believes. These are in accordance with the working of his mighty strength. My God of mercy, if that doesn't blow your thinking apart, I don't know what will.
This prayer to me, I define it as an infinity prayer. You know, it's important for us to understand this realm that we must not understand it from our ability to understand God. Even when we try to reason and break things down, it's still a limit. It's just we're nowhere near close to seeing who God is and what God can do. So I regard this prayer as an infinity prayer. And notice the condition of it is that, your, that the eyes of your understanding must be opened. In other words, you are never designed to be limited to the human eye. This is important for us to understand. Because if you notice, the Word of God teaches us and emphasizes in His Word that there is more leaning on hearing than there is seeing. You can see anything and look at anything the way you see it. But we're told, according to the Word of God, to not believe what you see. Because if you believe what you see, then you've removed infinity. You are no longer partnering with God. Because the word says, for we walk by what? Faith and not by sight. So that means until you're walking by faith, you're not in infinity. You will never be asking God from a position of maybe perhaps you'll see God in a completely different light. You will see God as he really is. When your eyes are opened, guess what happens? Revelation removes the impossible. Hear it again. Revelation removes the impossible. In that revelation supersedes your common sense. Now, it's very interesting. We are conditioned to the natural by way of education. An education as progressive as it is, but in the educational field, there is the denying of the existence of God. So that's why if you remove the creator out of the things that you see, you'll never ever come into infinity. Infinity is the definition of God Almighty. And until revelation comes to you, the impossible remains because we are educated to laws and restrictions. We're educated, in other words, to be impossible. So that's why when somebody comes and tells you something that's completely the opposite, it goes against your educational. Sorry, it goes against the educational system of man. So in other words, the educational system of man is not designed to, number one, believe in the supernatural, and two, to receive the supernatural. So now that your eyes are open, guess what? The impossible does not belong to you. You are now the child of possible. So you know what that means? You now see the world from a completely different perspective because you now see things from God's perspective. Say these words after me. Revelation removes the impossible. Oh, hallelujah. Listen to this now. Revelation is offensive to the natural mind because it's beyond it. You know, it's interesting. <laughs> you know, I love to hear when people speak. Because there's two ways how we speak. We speak by way of our education, what we've been taught. And then we speak from what I call the brotherhood of pain. <laughs> you say, what is the brotherhood of pain? The brotherhood of pain is the school of experience. It's where you learn things through what you go through. But even when you go through those two means, you're still not going to fully understand God. And you're still not going to fully know God. They might bring you to God, but you're never going to know God through it. Because God is so much more than. So that's why revelation is truly offensive 
to the natural man. You say, why? Because it's something that man cannot control. Man cannot control infinity. If man could control infinity, he could control God. We believe what we can see. You know why we believe it? Because we can see it. All believing is based on what we see. So if you remove man's ability to see a thing, he can't believe it. Oh, I want you to hear it clearly right now. Because what we're seeing now in the natural is shaking us. You say, why? Because.